Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be part two on our uh, watercolor uh, markers, making them into a watercolor kind of painting. And this is from the other video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over. You can see this is where we. it's from the other video. I'll link the other video around here. But what I want to show you very quickly is take a stamp that you like. Um, anyone will do. Take, you want Ranger Archival Ink, or you want Memento, or you want Stays On, or you want to use acrylic paint. If you don't have any of those and all you have is watercolor markers, they'll work. I mean, you know, you'll you'll see. They'll work. It's the whole point is to play. So I'm just going to stamp this with the black ink. Okay, and I'm not going to be too fancy. I'm going to lay this down. And I think it goes this way. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to lay my paper on it. And I'm going to stamp it real quick. I'm laying this and giving it a rub. You can do it the other way, but I like to give things a rub once in a while. All right, and look at that, how that came out. Awesome, right? So then you want to let this dry. And we're going to let it dry so it becomes permanent. So I'm going to blow this dry with my heat gun. Just dry it. But you can just sit for five minutes. It'll dry. But I'm just going to speed this up for a minute just so I can show you. Now, if you have watercolor paints, of course you can do this. You know, I'm I'm getting into the whole watercoloring thing. I'm loving it. Um, watching a lot of videos and all because I just want to do it. So, uh, but this is for you know people like us who don't have a lot of money who you know want to do this kind of thing uh, without having to spend a lot of money to uh, you know to do with your kids, to do for yourself, to put on ATCs, to put in your scrapbooks, but to whatever you want to do, your art journals. So I'm going to take green. Now these are pretty dead, these uh, markers, but so you're going to see, I'm just going in and coloring in. I'm only going to color half because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush. What the heck did I do with my paintbrush? I'm going to wet it. You don't want it soaking wet, but you want it wet. And then I'm going to go in and dilute it with my water and pull it down here. And what that's going to do, it's going to give you that cool watercolor effect. Look at that. So we got our middle in. So now let's go for some yellow. I'll go yellow around here. Now, yes, you can wet this. You can wet the paper and then go on it. I'll show you one. But you see, just kind of doing that. And I'm going to generally do the same type of thing. I'm going to kind of dry my brush off. Just you know, nothing major, just don't want it drippy because um, I'm drippy enough. And I'm going around and I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. Now I can wet this with my paintbrush and I can go back in with my marker and run it over it and it's going to pick up that delicious yellow. Now mind you, the ink's about done on here. It's, it's kind of said to me, Cal, we're done. I've really used the heck out of these things. Can you use your gelatos? Can you use your watercolor pencils? Can you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, so um, there we go on that. Let's pick a couple more colors. I don't want to bore the poop out of you. Although if you're constipated, it might help. Going in with some pink, and this pink's about dead as well, but I'm going to push hard. Look, because there's no rhyme or reason. We don't have to paint perfect because we're going to watercolor it out. See how I'm doing? Look, look, if I don't have fun and it's easy and, and I like to play, then I don't want to do it, okay? I'm just letting you know. All right, let's take our water uh, again. And we're just going to, I go in circles to kind of do it. And there you go. And you can see the black's not running or anything because it's permanent and it's not going anywhere. But hey, even if it would run, um, who cares? makes it look nice. So I'm just going around in my pinks, right? Nothing too fancy. And then what color do I want? Probably purple. Now I want some purple in here too. So I'm just going to lay some purple because I don't need that to be that yellow. And here I go. I'm walking down the street. No, I'm not walking down the street. I'm painting. I'm coloring. Coloring with Crayola. Crayons. All right, look. Look how easy, right? And if you're a freak and you like to cut out detailed stuff, you can cut this out because it's, you know, it's there, right? And I'm just laying it in. Um, I really got to get more of these. 
All right. Oh, my dog's at the door. Must be lunchtime. <laughs> That's what they do. It's like they have a timer. All right, and look. Oh, and I got in. So excuse me if my dog starts going nuts. Okay, so you can see I am, look, and I'm going to go here and just kind of blend out some of that purple. And I have a beautiful watercolored flower. Look at that. It took nothing to do. It took me literally five minutes. And if I wasn't talking so much, it probably would have taken less. So these you can knock out. Um, and I think it would be fun. Let me know what you guys think. I think it would be fun if, because a lot of people don't have stamps. I know that. A lot of you are just starting out or you don't have many. Wouldn't it be fun? Um, I was thinking about doing some random acts of kindness, but uh, more controlled, uh, where I can just stamp some of my stamps. I have a million and six stamps. Wonder if I stamped some out, send them out to, you know, as random acts of kindness. It's cheap. It's in an envelope. It's not going to be expensive. And then you can sit and try with your Crayola markers or whatever you have. I don't know. Let me know suggestions down there because I think this is just, this is just fun. I love it. And you can go back in and highlight or you can just look, leave it like that. And like I said, if you're really a fussy cutter, you can cut all that out or you can just cut around. It doesn't matter. I love it. I hope this helps some of you, all of you actually, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but I had a blast doing it. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Keep an eye out for part three of this. I will hook up part one around here somewhere. And um, I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. Love you guys. Bye.